I watched this person once and they stayed in the Nook shop. They went in before 10 p.m. and then they stayed there until like 4 a.m. And the twins are just like, oh my God, please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Jeffrey Vega from IGN and I am here with the one and only Macy Williams. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, I've arrived, I've landed. Are you here? Yay! No way. <laughs> Welcome. Should I give yeah. you a little tour? Please, I'm so excited. I think we should start here. So this is where all of the villagers seem to hang out, it seems. So you can, this is where you can loop your clothes. So if you have anything on you that you want to recycle and turn into a new outfit, then you can leave it just here on this drop off. Oh my gosh, I actually did bring a t-shirt. As you can see, it doesn't fit me anymore, which is why I'd like to sort of loop it. <laughs> exactly, you can turn it into something new and we can be twins. Yeah, so you can just, <laughs> Put it there, and then we'll go into the Able Sisters. And then if you come in here, so over here we have the nice little loop t-shirt, or you can have the loop dress. Whoa, very nice. I could, me... If I get my wand out, then I'll put on my loop uh, t-shirt, and then we can match if you want to. Oh my gosh, absolutely. You look great. <laughs> yeah. <You have> to... <laughs> okay, so now that you have your uniform, Thank you, oh Abel. I love it. First up is this, which is Loop Manor. Whoa. Um, and in here, there is H&M HQ. And then there's also my little apartment in case I get tired and want to stay over. Whoa. Kind of cute, bedroom. Right? So how did you get an apartment in H&M Manor? Well, I know someone who knows someone who knows someone. <laughs> and they wow. got me a nice little penthouse here. <laughs> it's just for all the innovation that I'm helping them do. This is where I need to sleep after all the hours and hours of innovation. This, uh, this little orange art up here is a uh, copy from a piece of art that was in my apartment. Oh, so wow. Yeah, and then, yeah, I love these posters. These posters are wicked. And my little desktop where I can stream from. Ooh. Very exciting. I could stay up here for hours, chill, but we'll, we've got a lot to see. Around here, so this is the orchard, which is really sweet. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, I, Macy, I have to ask, what is your all-time top favorite Animal Crossing fruit? Ooh, um, I like the apples, actually. I really like Classic. the apples. Uh, my my island was uh, the native fruit was oranges, which was <laughs> you were not happy about. <laughs> <laughs> you were like restart the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I d if I knew better, I would have. But um, alas, here we are. If we go back, yeah, then we can go up to the wind farm and the solar panels, and also to the little uh, like starry moon area. It's very cool, very purple, very beautiful. There had to have been a lot of stargazing going on to, to get wow. there. Wow. Oh my yeah. God, I didn't even know you could get different colored stars. Yes, actually neither, but here we are. <laughs> wow. I'm learning. This makes me sad about my town. I'm like, there. I, I could do so much more. I was like so nervous when we started all of this that like my island was going to feature heavily and I'm so thrilled that it's not. Yeah, there's like a thing where Isabel will tell you <laughs> if yeah. your island's too dirty. I'm like, oh. Yeah, my, my Happy Home Academy is like, you have cockroaches, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and then Isabel is like two stars, like pick up some of the trash. <laughs> wow, so this has got to be, this has to be like a five star island. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, I think it must be. This is, um, this is so fun, Macy, because you are able to sort of bring your love of video games to interview this important topic that maybe people would otherwise not really pay attention to. How did how did you convince sort of, you know, the corporate world that like, hey, this is fun and people will love this and uh, it's a win for everyone. 
I just thought that it made so much sense, like especially with the Abel sisters and like with everything, like with virtual fashion and how it's like really exploded, especially with Animal Crossing. Like it felt like the perfect crossover. And I, you know, I love playing this game and I do feel really strongly about making the fashion circuit just like more sustainable for everyone. And it just felt like a perfect way, like this loot machine that H&M has in stores is an amazing way for consumers to see firsthand like the sort of changes that H&M are trying to make and it kind of involves the consumer in like that, you know, circle. Um, but not everyone can go to stores right now and it's not necessarily safe to do so. And so to be able to bring it to like a much wider audience and you know, I, I communicate with my friends, I meet up with friends all through video games and it's like a way of them being able to still show everything that they're doing but keep people safe and, and open it up to a, yeah, just a new audience. Promoting kind of like this sort of safe kind of, you know, interactions and, and ways to kind of like, you know, stay healthy and, and help the world at the same time is so wonderful and I, I love this so much. Yeah, I love that like sustainability and like, yeah, just like sustainability, I guess, is like leaking into pop culture, but like also into gaming. I feel like the like Animal Crossing ended up getting all of these solar panels and like the wind farms and like it, the game just like consciously wanted to be, yeah, just like more green. And I think that it's nice to build a utopia and it like, it makes, you happy like having an island that is the way that you want it to be and is like run in a way that like you enjoy and i think it just like gives you yeah a good feeling it's like really empowering for even more on animal crossing new horizons why not check out our review or our video on essential tips and tricks